Hi, this is Dr. Amalu from facultyworkshop.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz from documents that you have in your Google Drive. Actually, you could do this with any document that you have on your computer, but in this particular example, we're going to use two different documents that are on my Google Drive to create quizzes out of them. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing that you'll need to do is click on New and we are going to go to Google Forms to create a blank quiz. So we're going to select Blank Quiz click create. Now in order for this to work we are going to be using a chat GPT plugin. In this particular example what we're going to do is I've got a syllabus document over here and I want to create a syllabus quiz for the rules that I have on my syllabus. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Google form and we're going to call the syllabus quiz. And we're going to need to install an add-on to the Google Form. So we're going to click right over here on the three dots. Scroll down to Get Add-on. And in the search bar, type in GPT Quiz Generator and hit Enter. And select this one right over here. Click Install. Click Continue. And select the Google account that you want to give it access to. Click Allow, and done. The add-on is now installed onto our Google Form, so you can close out of that and come back to the quiz. And we don't need this first question, we're gonna go ahead and delete this. Now we've got a blank quiz slate. So what we're gonna do here is, as I mentioned earlier on, I wanna create a syllabus quiz. So I'm gonna to go to my syllabus and select the course rules and policies that I have that I wanna quiz my students on. I'm going to select this, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to show you two methods to do this. One is through copy and paste, and one is using the add-on directly to find a document on our drive. All right, so now that I've copied the text, what we'll click on is the puzzle icon right over here, which is the add-on icon, and we will select the new add-on that we installed. Click on Start. And this is the interface for the add-on. As you can see, we've got two tabs over here, add text to generate questions or results. Now we need to start working right over here. We will simply paste the text that we copied over from that other document. You can check it. And here's where you can select whether you want multiple choice questions or check boxes or drop down. You have to select only one of those options. If you do want to combine different types of questions, check boxes, multiple choice, then you're going to need to replicate this process multiple times with the different options here. In this particular example, it starts off with one, but I would like to have my quiz to have at least five questions. You can do more than that if you'd like to. And each question, I would like for it to have at least four multiple choice options. I would like the answers to be listed in alphabetical format, so it'll be A, B, C, and D. And there should only be one correct answer, yes. All right, so the model, you've got different options over here. We're not gonna change this. We're gonna leave this as chat GPT-4. And we are gonna click on generate questions. So click on that. And this can take about a minute to three minutes to generate depending on the amount of text that you pasted right over here and the number of questions. So the more text that you put in and the more questions that you request out of the system, the longer it'll take. So this could take a few minutes. So click on generate questions and be patient. And that took about a minute or two minutes to generate the questions. And as you can see right over here, automatically move this over to the results tab where it says generated questions. And here are the questions. Now you can go ahead and change and modify the questions over here or correct them. You always wanna proofread the work to ensure that it is accurate. And if you are satisfied with this, all you have to do is say, click on the add questions to form. And once you get the confirmation of the questions that were created, you can go ahead and close out of that. And just like that, we created a syllabus quiz just by copying and pasting text from the syllabus itself. We did not need to think about the questions or to type out the answers manually, which is great. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is before you go ahead and end this quiz, you want to go ahead and click on the settings and modify these settings to your liking. Um, you can put the point value if you want to, responses, so on and so forth. I'm not going to cover this part of it. 
This is typically self-explanatory. All right, now with this syllabus quiz completed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and close out of this example and we're gonna look at another example. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new quiz again. And we're gonna call this article quiz. So what we have here is we've got a sample article. This is an article that I wrote a long time ago. And I, let's say that I wanna go ahead and create a quiz out of this particular article. But I don't wanna go through the hassle of copying and pasting this like we did pre in the previous example. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna go ahead and call the add-on again. So click on the puzzle icon, click on GPT quiz generator, and click on start. Now. Keep in mind that this add-on is not free and it's not unlimited if you're using GPT-4. So what we're gonna do now is, since I've already used it for one quiz, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to GPT-3.5 Turbo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on Load Text from Google Doc because I wanna basically use an article that is on my uh, Google Drive. Instead of copying and pasting, we will select the folder that the file is located on and and it is in the demos folder for me. And then we're gonna go ahead and select sample article. We're gonna go ahead and load the text. Great. And I'm going to review the text, make sure that everything's fine and delete anything that I don't want included in the quiz. For example, if you look at this article right over here on the first page, I've got an image and I've got a caption right over here that basically references the uh, person that actually took this image but I don't need that in the quiz and I also do not need uh, this last bit right over here in my quiz so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete those so anything you do not want included you can go ahead and modify delete out of your text over here we're gonna scroll to the bottom delete that last sentence as well great now we still have the option of doing multiple choice, but we could also do check boxes or drop down. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try check boxes this time. And I'm not gonna do 10, I'm gonna do maybe like three or let's do four questions and have three options for answers. I will leave this as numbers and click on generate questions and see what happens. Great, we got confirmation that the questions have been generated and we are now on the results tab. So I've got my four questions over here. Let me just review them quickly. And as I'm reviewing these questions and answers, the system did a decent job of it. I'd probably modify maybe one of the questions because I don't like the way that it reads, but overall I think it did a pretty decent job. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the questions to the form. And once I get the confirmation, I go ahead and close this dialog box. And just like that, I now have a new quiz with checkboxes. And that's how you can use the ChatGPT add-on in Google Forms to convert documents into quizzes within minutes. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to be notified as soon as we release another video. If there's something specific that you would like to learn, please post your request below this video in the comment section. Thank you for watching.